got a question kind of following up a little bit more on the puppy biting, uh, but with a little more specifics. Amy asks, when my kids walk our 13-week-old puppy, she always bites their boots and pant legs, sometimes bites their legs. How do I correct this? Yeah, that's a problem. It's a pain in the butt, too. It's It happens a lot. Um, again, certain breeds are more prone to do with another. Herding breeds, shepherdy types, collie types are likely to do that, but really any dog terriers will do it, too. Um, little kids have, you know, are smaller, they're easier targets, they move funny, they're fun, they, they probably react, and so it's a game to the puppy. Um, but, you know, puppies will do that to adults as well. I mean, I've certainly a lot of puppies that will bite at my shoes or, or feet. Uh, answer is, is well, I mean, if, you're, if your kids are walking, I don't know how old your kids are, um, is still to have a toy, a toy with you or with the kids. I mean, if, if the kids are super young, maybe the adults should do the walking and, and try to stop. Teach your kids to stop moving when that happens and just play, be, be a tree. So nothing comes of it, no squeaking, no running, and just be a tree, freeze. When the puppy stops, reward them, have your kids have kibble in their pockets or some kind of um, tasty treat in their pockets and a little carcass again. Um, have the puppy have a toy in their, in their mouth, uh, have the kids walk them with the flirt pole for a little while. This is a short phase. It, it, you, you can, if you don't allow it and you redirect it, um, you won't become a habit. And, you know, within a few weeks, your puppy will, you know, be targeting other things and looking out in the world and, and kind of outgrow this. But um, I like the idea of a flirt pole, you know, that same kind of fishing pole kind of thing with the kids walking with that. And they, they can kind of walk with the leash and with the toy. Um, and or freezing and waiting for the puppy to stop and um, feeding them profusely when they do. They can also drop some kibble as they're walking um, if the puppy bites them, tell them, you know, um, give it some kind of release word, you know, or, um, or no reward marker, no, no, release, you know, stop, stop and throw some food on the floor. So the puppy learns when they say, hey, stop it, you know, whatever word you choose, um, or no bites or no feet. Um, kibble rains from their, their hands to the floor and the puppy learns to let go of things and, and look elsewhere for reinforcement when they do that. Depends on the age of the kids. Do you have a bitey puppy? Are they constantly nibbling and chomping your hands, feet, legs, and arms? If so, then this next video is for you.